Good afternoon. I'm Bridget Masinga, and you might know me from radio, TV, or Miss South Africa. But over the coming month, I get to be in conversation with phenomenal women driving change within ABSA. Harriet Bircher Stowe once said, women are the real drivers of society. And to kick off our series as we honor and celebrate the innovation and excellence of women at ABSA, we've got Pragash Nureddy, who's the executive of digital APSA Relationship Banking. Prakashni, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Let's talk about technology and the importance of technology and innovation in business. The world of digital has become critical. You'll find that there's automation, there's deliveries that are being done. People have a higher reliance in terms of door-to-door -door for everything. And if you look at that within the business context, what we found is that streamlining for efficiencies, looking at how do we really bring value to customers in terms of streamlining the customer experience, mm. all of that underpins our key strategic pillars for APSA. It is Women's Month, of course, and we're celebrating innovation and phenomenal women within the bank. So let's talk about women within the tech space. Uh, are, are women getting into uh, the world of innovation, the world of technology? There's a big call around getting more young girls in STEM. I do think that it, there is a greater interest in terms of the influx of young ladies coming into the space. Mm. What we have found is that we've got propositions um, around saying, how do we really cultivate that space and take it, you know, into to the forefront of saying, enable these women from university onwards. And I think that for us, what has really been important is that we've got mentorship programs running where we are supporting young graduates that are coming into the business, mm -hmm. as well as we've got the, you know, for entrepreneurs that are in that world, you know, to say we've got the She uh, Thrives proposition. And what that does is that it offers really platforms that shape and mold um, female entrepreneurs that are going out into their businesses so that they've got access to key networks, they have um, marketing campaigns that can support them, they have access to various avenues that would grow their business, be it for funding opportunities, be it for just the growth in terms of trying to enable that business you know, to become the next uh, large business that would be you know, at the forefront in South Africa. Let's talk about some of the challenges. You are a leader in your space, uh, innovating and thriving, but a lot of young women and a lot of women getting into the banking sector, for instance, talk about some of the barriers to entry and some of the challenges there. How do we then support them in that environment? Previously, there was a lot of gender uh, stereotypes as well as biases, mm. but we've moved forward from that because if you look at some of the elements that surround technology, it's irrespective whether it's uh, male or female, it's really about looking at the end product. And I think that um, APSA has really been instrumental in creating an environment you know, that is all inclusive. It allows everyone um, to feel heard, you know, to feel um, that they are part of an environment where they can really truly express them, you know, their, their views as well as what they really are about. And, and lastly, let's just talk a little bit about perhaps some of the, the ways that the bank is supporting women within its own organization and, of course, outside. EPS has really been very strong in terms of having um, strategic alliances. It has partnered with Visa in terms of the She's Next program. And what that does is, is provide the fundamental foundation that women can connect and that they can grow their businesses. And also to have that worldwide perspective where we've got women in tech that we have a key partnership with as well, that APSA has embedded in as a way of moving the focus towards women that are currently working within business, but also those entrepreneurs that are seeking uh, access to loans, they need to have funding. And I think also creating networking opportunities with other like-minded women, but also into broader businesses that cuts across different sectors as well as industries. Thank you, Pragashni, for sharing some of your insights with us today. Thank you so much, Bridget. It's been an honor being here. And of course, as you can see, there are so many incredible women within ABSA driving innovation and setting their own parts. And over the coming month, we're going to be meeting more such incredible women with really phenomenal stories. There are stories of dreamers and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters, ABSA.